What's up, perverts? Welcome to another Game Sent to US X Reactions at Work. The reason I'm calling it perverts is Nintendo Direct happened today, and afterwards we got an almost eight minute trailer of Bayonetta 3 gameplay, so let's get into it. On the clock here, hopefully, nobody needs anything. Look at that. Gameplay still looks beautiful. You know, for the Switch. Hella jaggy, hella, hella alias, but... And also Bayonetta 2 and 1 didn't nail down a perfect 60 FPS, but it's fine. It's fine. It's good enough for the Switch. Basic grunt, guys. New dash animation, I guess, instead of... Oh, is this just like a full-blown deep dive basics of gameplay? These environments look more bland and dead than the previous game's environments. What is happening? Is that the compromise of the extra mechanics? Is just environments are more monochrome than they were on Bayonetta 2? <sighs> As long as the gameplay is there, man. Because, yeah, Bayonetta 1, hella monochrome. It was the PS3 360 generation. Environments were brown as shit. 2, very colorful, very playful. Delightful to look at. This, back to monochrome. A lot of gray, a lot of bluish green. That's for the Switch. Piece of shit handheld. But there are games you can only get on it, so have fun with that lowest commentary. No. I'm shitting on it. I'm shitting on the Switch too much. This gameplay looks beautiful. Flamboyant and... Okay. Yeah, so with the big-ass summons, it makes sense why the environments are hella empty, but still, it's not a compromise I'm necessarily into. And yeah, it definitely seems like the butterfly... Transformation is replacing the Sex Panther run animation. Standard Bayonet Fair. Yeah, so with a big finisher like that, that's the compromise. More boring environments. I mean, significantly more boring environments, more monochrome enemies to get those big finishes because that's all the Switch can handle. Can't do both at the same time. Of course not. Of course, Switch came out in 2017. The hardware was based on that NVIDIA X Montegra, which was already years old at that point. We still got that beautiful flamboyant in our direction. I'm being negative. I'm being negative. I don't need to be negative, guys. It's bigger and flashier. The attacks are bigger and flashier, and that's what I should be focusing on. Because in the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, that's all I'm going to be focusing on. Look at this. Okay, that's... New weapons. Uh oh Oh. All right, Cut a cannon hammer, hell yeah, okay. Uh, positive mindset, positive mindset. This is a, this is fun. This is great. Of 
Classic pain in a soundtrack. I miss the Panther run. I'm having, okay, see, I was pausing there, but now I'm being critical of having the big ass demon stands doing the attacking for you. You could see that the risk of being up in there with melee combat's diminished. You can see Bayonetta standing from a distance while the thing does the attacking. Like, what's was the risk reward of that, of pulling off sick combos and getting dodges in when you're summoning a big ass stand? Okay. Right. All right. Sekiro Perry, I'm into it. Big old Cheshire. Okay, same rising dive kick as Bayonetta. So again, th this whole new move set is superfluous. Why can't it just be a different weapon for Bayonetta? And you drill down and focus on enhancing the Bayonetta gameplay rather than making a new character. Because the previous games had variations on different characters, but there were just variations on Bayonetta with different stats. I mean, this is... I don't know, man. I like I like the different characters of the Devil May Cry series. Especially with five, how they added in new depth for Nero's gameplay. And I do like Nero, but I liked having the different characters of Devil May Cry being one franchise and then this concentrated single character gameplay of Bayonetta. Like this, the sword could have been a different weapon, and then it just—it's a modifier on how which time works, and you don't, whatever. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll be negative again. Be negative. Be positive. Gotta drink that copium, baby. Copium, copium. It's not copium. It's opium. I mean, this looks like classic bayonetta. It's gonna be a good time. All right. This is what I've been waiting. I got my Switch in 20, late 2017, 2018 maybe. No, 2018. I don't know, whenever Bayonetta 2 dropped. Waiting for Bayonetta 3. I let my ex have my Bayonetta 3. Or not, I let my ex have my Switch. Because they were playing Pokemon and whatnot. And I literally, I literally only got it for Bayonetta. And it's been years since they had that non-announcement, that nothing CG trailer. And then finally... I'm getting my switch back, I'm gonna get my bayonet on. And then I'm gonna ship my switch back to my ex, because they're gonna be playing Violet and or Scarlet. But it's about damn time. Bayonetta 3, it's about damn time. Off, off, off. Let's go off. 